Hello everyone, today we are going to take a look at the Benfey multifunctional laptop stand with docking station and we are going to take it right out of the box. Uh, this includes a hub, as you can see, um, it supports PD and has HDMI, 4 USB ports, so all the goodies I have uh, told you right away. But uh, we are going to test it, check it out. So in the box you get a manual with plenty of details here and specifications in English and of course Chinese. Right. And this I can tell you from the start that looks really nice. It's made out of metal, very solid yet light. It's probably made out of aluminium. Aluminium. Leave a comment below and tell me how do you say aluminium or aluminum or whatever right and here on the stand where you put your notebook or your device your uh, iPad tablet and so on it has rubber pads rubber pads and rubber pads so it doesn't scratch it and gives adhesion gives a good grip these are very soft nice grippy you have here vents so let me lift it that way all right and you can see here the mechanism it has a tiltable mechanism with solid metal hinges that work really nice and they are actually very solid to adjust so even if you have a heavy notebook this is not going to unadjust itself too easy right on the back here on the back side we have the integrated hub here we have four usb 3 ports and then we have here the PD in and HDMI out and of course we also have here the USB cable that is going to connect to your device and this is going to take power and communicate data with your chosen system that you are going to put here so let's put it to the test so I've prepared here a notebook that supports USB type C PD with display and so on with data and in the background there I have a TV that is going to be our uh, today's uh, secondary monitor and it's very easy to hook them up notebooks goes on the support of course and you can see it stays there nice and tight and you can adjust it as you want to also here on the rear where you have the hub you also get this part which is rubber and it's very grippy and also the hub itself has another six rubber feet so this is very 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 stable on the table i can move the table with it as you can see the table moves but this thing will not slip off of it so i really like that so the notebook goes there and i'm going to connect the USB type C PD here and on the bottom of this on the hub part there I'm going to connect the power adapter of the notebook this supports up to 100 watts of power and it's recommended actually to use a higher power higher voltage adapter because the hub itself is going to draw some power from your power adapter so not all the power might reach back into your notebook but today we are testing the original adapter which is a 65 watt one the original notebook charger and I'm also going to connect the HDMI to the bottom half here and now we are going to power the notebook and power on the TV as well and let's see what happens and here I'm going to switch the source to HDMI right I don't know if I get signal until this goes into the operating system but we are going to see that in a few moments there we go we already have the display clone in the background really nice sharp and clear this supports up to 4k 60 Hertz I mean in the hub also the TV does that easily so everything here is hooked up and working perfectly until now and as you can see 
we have clone displays and now we are going to connect a mouse dongle here in one of the USB ports so we can work with this thing easier and there we go we have mouse and let's check the display options here right so display settings and you can see we have duplicate these displays but we can easy change to extend these displays and we can here go and say keep changes so I have now an extended monitor here so I can take this window from here to here and you get the idea and now both displays work on their proper resolution not that they didn't before but now here I have this running in nice 4k resolution and if I go back here to display settings let me put this here for you to see there we go and we can check here it's in 4k resolution and we are also going to check now the refresh rate but I'm going to tell you that this notebook has difficulties doing 4k um, for instance let's see advanced so you can see here it's running at only 29.97 Hertz this is not a problem with the USB hub with the docking station from the support it's actually a limitation of this notebook it cannot drive its own display and a 4k display and do more than uh, 60 Hertz but we are going to test with another device and I'm going to show you that it can do 60 Hertz so we can rule out the hub that is in, uh, integrated into this uh, Benfei notebook support. Further on with the testing I'm going to use a portable drive. This is actually an SSD drive. I'm going to connect this to the hub and USB always goes exactly the opposite way that you try to install it. Right, so it has been detected. Let's move on to the monitor, on the TV actually. Now I'm going to open the drive. Right, it's this one. I'm going to go here, I have some video footage. So I'm going to choose here, I have some larger files. For instance, this one. It has one for 1.4 gigabytes. So I'm going to copy this and let's paste it right here. Look at that speed. I don't even think that you have managed to see it. Let's copy several files at once so we can actually see some speed. Copy and now I'm going to paste them here. Paste and now we can see some speed. It's doing around 400 megabytes per second. So the integrated USB hub is doing pretty good speed will drop when it changes the files and my notebook here only has one poor old SSD that worked a lot so actually the notebook doesn't support writing files so fast but you get the idea this thing will top out to 400 megabytes per second so until now we have sound on the television because it's supported, we have 4K image, we have good transfer rate, we still have two USB ports that are open right now because I only using one mouse and the SSD drive. So let's see what happens with the resolution because I told you that it should go faster. So I'm going to use here my Rogalai. This thing should support some nice 4K and with this occasion we can see if this supports hot swapping so this is out this is in so this is also nice for uh, docking for your gaming companion here look at that really really nice actually you don't see much so let me adjust it a bit a 
something like that. Should be better now. And as you can see on the background, we already have image and this is on extended mode because I have uh, previously used my Rogalai with this TV with another cable that supports 4K and it has somehow remembered that and it knows that this is its second monitor. So if we go here to display settings, let's check it out. So let me move the small window from here to here, huge difference. And there we go, extend this display, so I am on display 2. And this display is right now already in 4K. And if we go to advanced settings, we have here 60 Hz. So the integrated hub into the Benfei support is doing what it's promising to do. It's doing nice 4K at 60 Hz with the USB working. And because I still have my SSD drive connected, we can also repeat the transfer test. So let's see. Oh, yeah, I'm here going to update later. Right. So I'm going to move this here. So you can actually see something. And I have here this edit. I'm going to use the same files from the same source, so I'm going to choose several of them, right, and then copy, and then go and paste them here. I did it, I paste the shortcut. Nope, I selected the wrong files because they were not sorted, so I'm going to choose the correct ones that are large enough. Copy and then go here and paste. And it has started to transfer them, so let's move this quickly here. Where's the speed? Show the speed. They are going very fast, but it actually doesn't show the speed, which is weird. But we are professionals, so we are not going to leave it like that. I have here crystal mark, so I'm going to select the D drive, the one that it's the SSD with files on it, and then I'm going to do an all test, so we can check some speeds here. Alright, so the other technician, because I told you that we are professionals here, so the inspector is here, so he's checking the speeds. They look kind of perfect, but uh, hopefully we get the approval. So as you can see, the speed is like we saw on the notebook around 400 megabytes of course the easiest way to do it this one because the other will be slower but nonetheless we get decent speed for uh, this uh, this hub i'm telling you this and i'm stressing you with this transfer speed because i have seen some uh, portable hubs and other docking stations that only give you usb 2 ports and one USB 3 port or something like that or they actually lose a lot of speed and I like the fact that this is not happening here so again we are having 4k 60 Hertz and working USBs with proper speed and here are the full results as you can see very good speed for uh, this device but also keep in mind that it's an SSD drive so this can perform even faster than that, but it's very, very good. Right, so this also is a good companion for your gaming console. As you can see, you can put other devices and on the Rogalai it's especially nice because it only has one USB port that used for charging. And if you want to use it on a other display or with a second display, or use a mouse keyboard or something like that with it and use it as a gaming console or use a controller with it in a large screen 
it's now very easy it's possible and it has this stand which keeps it cool because the rogalai has fans that blow hot air on this part here on the top and it extracts all the air from behind so from behind you have these large holes they do not line up perfectly with this but it's not a problem because this also has some indents here that keep this away from something so it can draw air from underneath even if it's on a table or something like that and the hot air is exhausted nicely so it keeps it overall cooler than putting it on a table directly and it gives you four USBs and the monitor output so that was it for now I hope that uh, you have enjoyed uh, this video and I must tell you that I really like this port I'm going to use it a lot and I can decide if I'm going to use it with my Rogalai or with my notebook because I use them both a lot along with my PC so I'm going to share it between them but I really like this is very convenient in comparison with other systems. Until my next video, see you and bye bye.